Okay guys, this is part two of the video review of the Samsung Q10. I got some kits up here so you guys can see this and I got it on my tripod. Um, it's going to be a short video, it's not going to be as long as the last one, but obviously you can see that quality here is very good. I have it set to Smart Auto, so it will automatically adjust to the changing conditions of my of uh, my recordings and to give you a little demonstration I'm gonna turn off all the lights that I have ready well, that I use during my recording whoops that was turned off already so. now the only light I have in the room is my uh, ceiling light but as you can see, the quality, it, 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 it records pretty well. It doesn't have no tinge to it. Even if I put my hands, I don't see the, um, I don't notice on the, uh, on the LCD screen, the, the picture changing color or, or the camera trying to overcompensate. It actually filters, it actually figures it out. So that's a good thing. Alright, let me turn this on again. Clearly putting on all the lights on, you see the better, you know, better detail of the of the kits. Now, um, I'm going to use the zoom, which is something I don't like to use these days. Because if I do zoom like this, obviously it looks good. Right now I'm halfway. If I get to the leading edge of how far the uh, optical zoom reaches, it begins to blurry out as you can see and then I would have to tap back a bit more so you can see it eh, it's alright I guess I, I can deal with that considering the fact that with this camcorder I don't need to use the zoom all I need to do is if I just position it like this And uh, here's one of the coolest things about this camcorder that I like. The autofocus. Something I can I cannot do with my Canon camera. Nor well, slightly I can do with my uh, bloggy. But uh this is uh, pretty good. I'll give you another example. Whoa. That's close. Very close. Here. Something everybody wanted to see. So, I think I am pleased with the results. For those of you who wanted to know what camera I was using at the time of all my recordings, I was using this guy, the Canon PowerShot SD960IS. No, I am not selling this camera. This is actually my backup, so in case... Well, God forbid something happens to my camcorder. I got this one as a fallback. So that is pretty much it of the uh, of the Samsung Q10. I don't know what else I can say. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show off the features like I did in part two. Uh, excuse me, in part one. You know the Serpa, the Art, the Noir. You know, uh, there's probably features I may or may not even use at uh, at this moment's notice. Um, but I will be using this camcorder to begin recording my uh, my uh, my builds and the next video that you'll be seeing of course will be the uh, broken blade build Delphine or Delphine so again thank you for watching this uh, review part 2 review of the Samsung Q10 and stay tuned for more Gundam models 
yet to come.